What is up guys, gals, and you awesome, awesome means and gamers of different shapes and sizes. It is me, Josh Gano Proxy, bringing you some Dauntless today on the PlayStation 4 Pro. This game has been out for a while, I think now, maybe like a month or two. I, I remember when it came out and I tried it on its initial launch and I didn't really like it that much. I'm going to be honest, like I'm a massive fan of Monster Hunter and this is coming from somebody who hated the original Monster Hunters as well. I really didn't enjoy the control schemes and the gameplay mechanics of the original Monster Hunters, but I love Monster Hunter world and comparing it to Monster Hunter World this game is very much like a free-to-play quick and easy version of Monster Hunter. There is some challenge into it and there's actually a really cool gameplay that I hope I've recorded so I can show you in the future but it's this kind of thing where the game has kind of like the the light version of Monster Hunter where it's that you have a weapon you can do a light attack a heavy attack and a special move and you've got some like little quick items as you can see on the bottom right there and then you just kind of like rush at enemies you kill them these giant monsters only ever one monster so far on these kind of the called pursuits you have pursuits and patrols so far and there's just this one monster hidden on the map and you have to find it with your team of four i think in total and then you wail at it kill it get some materials make some weapons and armor and then you kind of go and do the next thing and it's a cool concept it's that kind of thing where just for free it's kind of like warframe you know you can sort of like just going through levels and grinding you can just like go have a boss battle just go have a boss battle for 10 minutes which is kind of awesome if you think about it and a lot of these monster designers are really cool too they're definitely down my avenue of like art style i really love this kind of like comic booky cartoony what would you class it as like is it got like a bit of a borderlandsy thing to it it's got a little bit of a borderlandsy kind of look to it doesn't it right it's called the boreas or i class it as the beast from beauty and the beast <laughs> it's like this just giant mutant version of him for some reason obviously he got rejected by bell this time <laughs> but i'm using the ice axe there are different weapons you can use you can use like swords spears axes hammers dual pistols which i've actually ended up kind of like inheriting now as my play style because again i've said this in the last video that i posted for apex legends really loving kind of like support kind of stuff i really like playing support because there's just kind of like more to it than just wailing on things and like when you use like the melee kind of a, like weapons and you just kind of like have to do that you're just kind of like smashing into things and it kind of gets a little bit tiring i find myself kind of falling asleep doing this kind of stuff i don't know if anybody else is like that but it's, it's kind of fun still. It's that kind of thing where it has that simplicity, that accessibility. What you have to do with this guy is that you have to fight him in general. He then brings up this kind of like ice armor and then he gets these little like bat babies and you fight the bat babies which then kind of like buff your damage for each attack on him. So like say if you kill one bat, it means that you'll do like say, let's just say as it like made up example, double damage to the monster by hitting one bat baby. So really what you want to do is kill lots and lots of bat babies and then you can actually destroy its armor. That's kind of the tactic I find of this dude, or dudette, it, it could be either. He, he's having some kind of epileptic fit right now with his face, I don't know why. This game is like, I would class kind of like in a beta phase, I think. There, there are quite a few monsters that you get to go fight and stuff. I think I've unlocked about half the game just by playing it for like maybe about three hours. I definitely think they need to make more. It's that kind of thing where this game is very much going to be based on the content that is provided. It's kind of like, again, with like Warframe. Warframe has done very well of kind of like applying brand new content constantly. It doesn't really refine its content. I'm, oh, that's that kind of thing of another opinion for another day. But that's that kind of thing that you need here. You need like an ongoing amount of content being brought into it. Adding monsters into a game is probably going to... I don't know, like, be a bit of a struggle for a development team to just keep adding monsters over and over again, because that means you also then have to make equipment and weapons that kind of go with that as well, because that's kind of what happens in this game. You have, like, a boss monster that you fight, and then there is a set of armor and weapons that kind of, are, like, attach to that one monster, and then you kind of grind it out, and then you go make the armor and stuff. And so you'd have to make, like, a different type of armor and weaponry that kind of justifies that kind of, like, gameplay kind of like inputs or injection each and every time and that might be quite difficult i don't know what do you think comment below let me know have you been playing this as well would love to know that as well we are about to take this thing down it kind of borrows that thing from monster Hunter as well where you kind of like see like ongoing progressive damage onto the enemy too using that really cool r1 ability where you kind of like underarm spin it like it as a boomerang and it comes back at you really cool if you press r1 again i found out you actually do like like an uber downward slam you don't see in this video but really cool and i figured it out last time Kind of epic, I don't know. 
<laughs> it's a fun game. I kind of wish there was more to it. Like, maybe if they add more little passive enemies into the maps. I know that there is a patrol game mode where you can fight maybe potentially more than one monster at a time. Which is kind of cool too. So you can kind of go on, like, expeditions instead of just, like, one-off fights. So it's kind of got that thing where you can kind of do, like, a pick-up-and-play thing. Or you can do kind of, like, a massive epic kind of, like, grind session of just fighting a bunch of monsters at the same time. For a type of elemental refinery that you want. Like, say, ice or fire. But either way, we've taken that thing down. Let me know in the comments below what you thought to that. It's been me, Josh, a.k.a. No Proxy, bringing you some of this Dauntless gameplay. And maybe I should bring some more. I'll let you know in the future if I do. And let me know if you want to see some more. Got a good A rank there as well for Solo. Performance, and then also for the team we got SS Plus, I think that was. But either way, I'll see you all next time. Ciao for now.